Yeah, you're now tuning into the Welcome to Virginia podcast, and we're now here with the one and only my cuz. I definitely been waiting on this interview. The people been waiting on this interview. Yes, it was sir. a hard man to get up with, but we finally got him, Mr. Donnie Copenhagen himself. What's good, my nigga? What's going on, fam? Ain't shit, ain't shit. How you doing today? I'm out here, man. I'm blessed, man. You know. All right. Like I said, everybody been wanting to see this interview. Everybody, you know what I'm saying? When I when I took a poll, this was probably the, the number one joint. Seemed like you the people's the people's champ or whatnot. No doubt. Which everybody can probably attest to that. That's not my opinion. That's not this. You know what I'm saying? I, that's just what everybody say. So I'm letting that be known first and foremost. Appreciate it. And before we get started, I just want to ask you how have things been going with you since the pandemic and stuff like that. Just how you doing overall? I mean, you know, you know, in the pandemic, man, you know, people go through a lot of stuff. You find yourself, you find other people, you know, to lean on. You know, I want to give a shout out to my two live crew. You know, they held me down. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know who y'all is. But, you know, during that time, I know it was a lot of family interaction, a lot of vibes, a lot of, you know what I'm saying, spiritual soul searching. You know what I'm saying? Trying to find out what's really going on in the world, you Word. know? So just a lot of that type of stuff, you know, trying to trying to get right with myself, you know? Bad. All right, so we're going to dive right into it. We're going to start at the beginning like I always like to do about this time. Okay. So what was it like for, for young Donnie Copenhagen, young James Jones young growing James, up? James, I mean. What was your shit, childhood like? Off the chain, man. You know, um, everybody know me. Y'all know we live on a circle, you know, so, you know, it was a whole lot of action. All the whole squad, <laughs> you know, me, Damo, Marty, Molly, Dante, you know, the whole squad, you know. So it was a whole lot of Wow, that you know, just, just the one of the best childhoods you could probably ask for. For real, I ain't gonna front, man. You know, whole lot of scars, whole lot of fights, whole lot of bruises, whole lot of parties, whole lot of foolishness. You know, but I learned, you know, that we all we got though. You know, we still here together, the same guys I grew up with. We still best friends to this day. So you know, we built some strong bonds coming up. So how would you how would you explain your childhood if you had to? Oh, tough, rough. I mean, we from the strip, from the you know what I'm saying. I mean, but you know, we always made do. Word. Perseverance. All right. Well, I'm going to take it a little, I'm going to speed it up just a little bit, and I might go back. But when did you first start realizing that, matter of fact, what, what, what inspired you to start being a rapper or, or doing music around here? Well, my older brothers, man, they used to always freestyle and rap. They was kind of cool. I, was, I looked up to them. So, you know, um, my man Iceberg, you know you know the legendary, the legendary um, Austin Avenue basement. Where everybody used to rap, but I used to listen to them rap all day for hours. I wasn't really impressed though, but they had some good vibes, you know what I'm saying? Well, yeah. But in my head. <laughs> you always felt like you could yeah, do better. Yeah, in my head, I was like, yo, I'm telling you, I can say something. You know, because I rap in my head, like, yo, yeah. I probably could say a little something better than that. So one day I got it, I got on and I went crazy. And ever <laughs> since then, I was like, yo, I really am like that. It's always a quiet one in the cut. It's, it's, yeah. it's got something better than the loud nigga to think he the shit. Shout right. out to my man Kev too, man. Sco Money, man. You know what I'm saying? He the sensei. Yeah, shout out to Kev. Free Drake Cole too, man. Them, them, them was two. Them, them was two of the first dudes that that I ever heard live that was actually nice. You know Word. what I'm saying? And they was like that, though. No cap. That's what's up. So when did you? So so after that, you start putting pen to paper or what? Yeah, I started just freestyling. I was like that, and then I started writing rhymes and. Uh, nobody could really mess with me. I mean, it was it was always it was always us. So this all then your, your your cousin Jim Cat man, he liked that. Hey, look, I'm glad you said that because I'm gonna tell you just like it. <laughs> it was like it was like um, people kept saying, hey, yo hey, yo James Jones man. What, what, what's, what's the other name you used to go by? Um, Loose Cannon, Young yeah, James. Loose, loose Cannon, with Loose Cannon man. Oh you, she, you nice. You can't fuck with Cannon. What the fuck is y'all talking about? Who's Loose Cannon? It's like I went to sleep one night <laughs> before I could even pass the torch. This nigga done took the motherfucker. I woke up looking for the toy. They like shit. James got that motherfucker. Oh, but it's all good. That's neither here or there. But yeah, I, I, I'll never forget. That's all we hear. Shit, you, shit, you that yeah. nigga care, but shit, James. Yeah, we had a little shout out to my brother <laughs> Bass, man. Bass, Marcus, Waddy, Lavar, man. Yeah. We had a little squad, Free Timpson. We had a little, we had a little unit, man. We was the original stick up kids. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Well, I guess the torch was passed, but they held it down. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But yeah, yeah I mean we. 
we started that, but I mean, it, it is what it is. It's, it's, it's all part of the books, man. Yeah, not. I ain't want to get off course and start talking about my own little shit, but you know how it goes. Nah, sometimes. but you mean you you definitely you know what I'm saying is part of the Mount Rushmore. You know what I'm saying? It's definitely you know what I'm saying. I appreciate your name it, in the rafters most definitely. I appreciate that. Some, some do your history from right here. Do your history, man. Know you where you come on, man. Don't you can't be the guy if, if you if, if if you just got here. It was the guy before you, and it was the guy before him. No doubt, no doubt. You know what I'm saying? So, all right. So when 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 did you start actually recording and, and start saying, you know what, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to start putting music on, on wax. I'm going to start pursuing this. Well, like, no cap. Like, after I freestyled, the first time I ever rapped was on tape. Well, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, on a freestyle recorded and they recorded, it. Yeah, yeah. And I was and after that, I, I, shit, I was on everything. I had tapes. After tape, after tape, I rapped in my room. I remember shit would be going around the hood. Like, Mom, you heard the uh, James tape yet? Yeah, like niggas had the real life mixtapes, bro. I used to be, ma- used to be mad at you, yo. I'd be like, what is this nigga doing? I was like, yeah. everybody, all I hear is this dude's name. Everybody said this dude's da 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 I was like, what is he doing? What is he doing? I was like, yeah. man, this dude got it. And I know you were, I know you you done had your little troubles and stuff, you know what I'm saying, having your little oh, run-ins yeah, and stuff. Yeah, that definitely, definitely. They kind of they kinda probably set you back sometimes, but... Other than that, I feel like if anybody can take it, take it to that next level, it's probably you, because you don't only just have the skill set, and you have the voice of the street. Like, say, say if there's a Nas in Brooklyn, or if there's a Dipset in New York, yeah, you yeah, would be yeah, that yeah. in Stan, Virginia. For because sure. whatever, whenever you drop something, it be people that I don't even know be looking at niggas that rap around here. Cause you know it's a whole lot of people. You can post something and you got your core people that I know. I got my core people that always show respect, love, da 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 da, and yeah. a few scragglers here and there that show love. But I notice when you put out stuff, it be people coming out the woodwork that I don't even know. It's my friends on Facebook that be like, "This the best shit I heard in a while." Da 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 da. So I feel like you got that voice, and you able to touch people in a way. That hasn't been done in a long time So I feel like Anybody with any type of Know-how, knowledge Or can point you in the right direction Should be trying to rally behind you And help you get to where you need to go Not saying you need help But I'm saying anybody that has those things Should also be trying to be like Yo, James is probably that nigga We should probably be trying to build around him And I'm not trying to gas you or say He the only nigga that can do it I'm just saying from what I've heard throughout the years Me being an older uh, older cat that's been doing this since the '90s. Uh, I've I've never seen I haven't seen this since. I want to see uh, say um, there was Lump and then there was um, man, what's his freaking name? They used to always come from Richmond and, and uh, realism. Realism, oh, yeah, yeah, and that's yeah, when yeah. realism was doing it. Wasn't nobody doing nothing, so yeah, it was like yeah. everybody was yeah, just DJ like, Yeah, DJ Groove and Maddox, they had the yeah, little yeah, that's, yeah. My, that's my cousin, too. Yeah, when realism started doing it, I that's what inspired me to, to say, Yo, I know I can do this. Yeah, shit. I used to sure. rock rock shows with, with uh, jump on stage and, and freestyle back then when he was coming to town and stuff like that. So yeah. I haven't seen that type of love and that type of following since probably him. So what is what 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 is your plan right now as far as the music goes? I mean, I'm gonna continue to be myself, man. You know what I'm saying? I mean, with the love come the hate, man, and and it be one thing I learned, man. I know for sure, man, is 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 it's all about what you give out, man. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of people don't have that in themselves. Like they'll be with you though, but they don't. That the you that they want you to be is the you that they. Want you to be forever. You feel me? Yeah, they don't. Yeah. They 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 can't fathom you being great. You feel me? And the and the thought of them seeing you be great, it would it would, it would make them lesser in their own eyes. So I would rather not support you all the way, but I want to be there, but not be there. And because I, I know you know what I'm saying. saying? Cause Cause like, feel like if they show you too much love and you nah, take off, I mean, it's, it's gonna be like they you forgot about nah, them. Nah, but I would never forget about my peoples though. I mean, but that's probably that's how they'll feel because. But what what people feel to realize is when you're on a path to greatness or you're every day trying to do something, and you got these people over here that this is what they do. Yeah. Like some people subscribe to nine to fives, and that's what they're going to do. They're gonna get up every day. And they're gonna go to work. Not knocking that. That's just what. That's just the reality of it. That's and then you got people over here with a dream, a goal, and a destiny that they they strive for. So they're constantly working towards different levels in life and trying to get to somewhere yeah, for higher. Sure, for sure. So they feel like, okay, 
he ain't gonna be at the party no more. He gonna be out of town rocking a party somewhere. And once you start reaching those heights to where to where they feel like they can't reach you no more, they feel like I don't even think it's that. I think it's some people think that you don't deserve to be great. That's a great valid point. You know, point. some people might look at you like, man, I hung with this dude my whole life. He don't deserve to be great. Dude, that's a that's I deserve valid. to be great. You feel me though? I, I know exactly what you're saying. Yeah, I, you feel I, me though? So I mean, it is what it is, but I mean What's greatness is greatness. You can't deny it, and 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 you can't stop it. It won't. You feel me? I mean, you can't stop it, man. Like it won't be stopped. I mean, that's, so that's probably that just gave me chills because I can relate to that on on, on so many levels. I know exactly what you. What yeah, you mean man. You the universe that. got a plan for everybody, man. And I'm I'm just out here, man. You feel me? Sometimes that sometimes that actually hurts though because there's people that you love like a motherfucker, man. And then you and then it's like one day you see it. Like damn, yeah, like, this this nigga this nigga love me, but he don't want me to be great uh-uh, because it's nah, something that in him that feels some type of way about me succeeding. Being great. Yeah, yeah I, mean, I know what you, I know exactly what you're saying, man. Yeah, I mean, but it be like that, man. I mean, once you at terms with it, it is what it is. You know, I mean, I ain't really looking for no. You know what I'm saying? It's just me. It's always been me. You know what I'm saying? It's always gonna be you. You feel me? I mean, this is your movie. Ladies and gentlemen, if you take anything out of this interview, take this. This is your movie. Word. This is. It's only one main actor in the movie. Anybody else in your life, they just people that's in the movie. Yeah. So whatever you're going to make this movie, it's on you. You can make it a drama. You can make it a romance. You can make it an action movie. Bars. You can make it a whole other story. I mean, but it's up to you. Bars. You're the director. You're the main event. It's on you. So, I mean, other than that, shit. Y'all ain't never got no game. Y'all get some game today, baby. It's a fact. <laughs> so what you got coming up next? You saying? You, you... Um, I've been working with my main DJ Adonis, man. We've been having a whole lot of events planned and going on. We got a whole lot of stuff going on for twenty three minutes a year to go. For real? Yeah, man. So I got a lot of stuff going on. I I got a whole lot of vibes. I got a whole lot of new music that I've had and I ain't been releasing. It's just you know, but I'm 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 definitely in the mix. So you know what yeah. I'm saying. So I ain't really. I ain't really holding nothing back though, but I ain't really, you know what I'm saying? It's just still in the mix. But we mixing it though. Yeah. So I mean, as long as you still still record, cause see, a lot of times when people don't hear you making, uh, putting out music all the time, they just figure you ain't doing nothing. Oh yeah, for sure. But as long sure. as you recording and steady doing stuff, then that's all that really matters. Because especially the type of music I feel that you make, is because it's always going to be relevant. You know what I'm saying? I, mean, you, you, yeah, I mean, the real is every day. Yeah, that's what I mean. You know what I'm saying? When you when you really talking about your life and you talking about things you experience and stuff like that, is that's always gonna gonna be uh, relevant. So I feel like whenever you drop or whenever you put out something, it's gonna be timeless and people gonna even ever be able to feel. It. I know that. Oh well, damn! I don't really want to speak on that too much, but the last joint you dropped, the bars nah, of that shit I mean, was so crazy. On, we'll speak, I mean, I mean, it is what it is. I mean. When it comes to the artistry, man, I put myself up there with Jay Z for real. I ain't gonna cap. This is real rapper. Like I take time with it. I will put my words, my rhymes, my songs up against anybody in the universe. That's like, how serious I am about my. I'm gonna just be honest. Why right? that shit? I'm like, man, I hope this motherfucker don't respond because this shit right here. I'm like, this nigga just went crazy on this motherfucker right here. That's no, all love, no man. No disrespect that was, to anybody, that was, but bars nah, is bars. Was, they nah, never leave wrong just, with verbal. That was just. I mean the. The people wanted that, man. I mean, the people needed that. That was just a little excitement for the people, man. Yeah. That was that wasn't nothing but just little little bro and big bro just f- fucking around in the backyard type shit, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's all love, man. Ain't you know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing wrong with little verbal sparring. I've done yeah, it. Yeah, man. You know I've done saying? it with my inner circle niggas that I fuck with. I've I've got I've I've been in a circle with rappers. And then I've been able to branch off and 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 get a little uh, jab record deal and go places. Yeah. They felt some type of way about it. Start Say throwing shots something, subliminally yeah, on now records. I let, now so I gotta let you know. Spank you a little yeah, bit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. You <laughs> know then, what it is. And then yeah. look, and you then I pull I you up and do a record with you on the shit. Yeah, that I it's all, so, yeah, it's all love. It's never, it's never not love. It's yeah. just, it's just a conversation. Yeah, misunderstanding. It's dope that we can have those conversations on record, though. Yeah. Don't have to be nothing else. Nah, yeah, nah, yeah, for sure, though. Yeah, it's definitely, definitely, it definitely should never be nothing else, though. Right. But it's all a conversation, man. I mean, it's nowadays, with all this texting and social media, we can't have conversations. Like, <laughs> yeah. for what? like you know what I'm saying? Like, everybody avoids the conversation. I'd rather yeah. indirect post something. Or... See, that's why, like, I, I'm so, I'm so, um, like, I'll, I'll even po- uh, write something on social media, then I'll take it back because it's like, damn, I don't want nobody to feel some type yes. of way because I cannot stand that sp- yeah, I don't over even, the yeah. that stuff. If I can't talk to you face to face, I can't, yeah. uh, because it, it, it'll give me anxiety knowing that this person ain't going to ever stand in mm, front of me to say never. that. Like, nah, I can't do it. Cannot yeah, that's do it. Yeah, that shit ain't about nothing, man. Ever. <laughs> like, for real, that shit, waste of energy, man. 
All right, so what else you got to tell the people? Like, if any, anything else you got going on? Anything you just want to say in general? Nah, man. Love your people, man. For real, that's all I mean. Shit. Other than that, be great, man. Whatever your calling is, man. You might be the best motherfucking shit. Whatever. Yeah. You could, like, man, whatever you good at, man. Whatever people like you to do, man, and you make people happy and you be happy doing, man, do that shit, man. Y'all like heard, real. y'all heard it from one of the best to ever do it around here first. Donnie Copenhagen. My guy. It's your boy Jim Cat. This is Welcome to Virginia Podcast. How let you yes, come sir. up for my crown, got two options. Get laid out or laid down. If I had a dollar for every nigga that holly me hard, I'd be able to put my talents through college. Oh boy, I'm spitting it so raw. So of course I be feeling like leaving no four.